Hey, what's going on guys? It's your boy Tinkfro and welcome back to another episode of ExileCraft episode 18. And we're out here in, well, my base, right? My home, my humble abode. And we haven't really been here in quite a while, isn't that right, Jelly? But yeah, I thought I'd start the episode off in here because I just want to ask you guys a question. How do you guys usually gather gravel, right? So we've got essentially two shulker boxes worth um, and a lot of sand too, because I have been using, you know, quite a bit of gravel, not a lot of gravel, but we have been using it here and there for all of our builds. And I wonder, because I personally like to collect it from the nether, I don't know. I find the nether quite uh, thrilling to just be in. Uh, you never know what's gonna hit you. And yes, you might die here and there, but I don't know, I feel like it's very fun. Um, there is one other thing I want to show you guys too though. And here, yes, here we go. Look at that, look at all those mini blocks. And yeah, we've got the shulker box inside here with a lot more, right? So a lot of ores and whatnot. But yeah, I also want to show you guys, right? This is the new, heads from the uh, updated version and this is like the old one and yeah i have to say i'm very happy with it and yes we've got some tnt i actually managed to get um some more of that but um yeah we've actually already put them to use so hopefully i'll get to show you guys that this episode there is one other thing before we start the episode off the map right so we made this map a long time ago but check out just how well just how well it's all coming together, right? It really is starting to look like a busy city um, with the new area that we built with the Citadel. And uh, yes, you might be wondering what that is and we'll get to that later. But also the docks, I'm very happy. Um, how the ships look, you know, they look pretty sexy. And, and of course the gates, which we have further plans for. And yeah, it, 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 it really all is coming together quite nicely and I'm very happy with it. However, why don't we get into a time lapse so I can show you guys, number one, a new ship that we built and number two, a new build that we built. Alrighty guys, I hope you enjoyed that time lapse. Now unfortunately I did lose the footage for the building that we made, but we'll get to that a little bit later. But yes, as you can see, we have this beautiful ship over here. Right, I really love how the sails look and um, just the shape of them. It took me a while to get them right, but yeah. Um, to be honest, the amount of time it takes to get the sails correct takes just about as much time as it does to get the actual ship correct, right? And you might actually recognize the, the actual ship's hull because that is um, exactly the Minecraft uh, shipwrecks that get generated, right? And we actually had one right over here sunken down. So it's pretty much exactly the same. There are a few differences here and there. Um, but overall, it is the, the, the same shape and even the same color pattern. But yeah, if we manage to get in here, you'll see that it's actually quite spacious. It's not small at all. And yeah, I'm very happy with it. And here we have the captain's wheel and whatnot. But yeah, now you might have noticed that the sails are actually very vibrant, right? That's yellow with orange and that actually looks like a sun, right? So yeah, that actually plays a little bit into the lore that I'm thinking about. I'm thinking of um, basically this ship coming from the Sun Isles, right? And it'll be like a spice trade ship. 
And uh, yeah, so that just explains like the different designs and the really vibrant colors. I'm very, very happy with it. I've actually taken um, a lot of inspiration from Game of Thrones season six or seven. I'm not 100% sure, but um, because a lot of the ships there have the same sail patterns, right? Um, with the triangular sails compared to the, uh, I don't know, square rectangular sails. And um, <laughs> there's actually another way I uh, borrowed a little bit from Game of Thrones, right? So the Sun Isles, really, the color pattern and almost how the logo looks is compared directly to the Dornish, right? Um, to Sunspear, they have that yellow with the vibrant orange. And yeah, I think, um, you know, borrowing aspects from such a great TV show well, is okay because you know, it turns out looking quite magnificent and I'm very happy with it. Now we don't have anything in the actual hole, but I am thinking maybe putting some compostas for like um, where we would store the so-called spices that we're carrying, right? And again, we don't have anything for the captain's chamber, which is a running theme currently. Um, but that's okay, this ship over here wasn't, you know, built completely in one go. Oh yes, and I completely forgot, look! We now have some vibrant colors as we look down, some of those pumpkins and watermelons. So yeah, very happy with it. Now, if we make our way off the ship and up into the actual dock system, you might notice there are some interesting things. Here are the miniature heads that I was talking about, the TNTs. And here are the, I don't know, three cannons that we've put up and we put three more over here, right? I'm not sure if they'll stay here because I don't know if they blend in exactly how I want them to. Um, but I am planning off, I don't know, making a militarized area, I guess, of the dock system. But um, yeah, we'll see how that goes. Now there is one more thing. So as you can see over here, we have this cart design, which I really have fallen in love with. Um, but I have actually gone ahead and come up with my own design, right? So I always like taking inspiration and then building my own things too. So yeah, here here it is basically. It's so it's a smaller design, right? And I guess can a human fit here? Yeah. So then there you go. You would be uh, carrying this cart, maybe not the donkeys, but a uh, but a human this time. And yeah, I think it's um quite simple, and I, I really like it. It, it. it did take a while to come up with, but in the end, I think it looks just as good as this design over here. So why don't I show you guys um how to build it? Um, we can probably build it here. So we start off with our two wheels like so, then the slabs right here. Then I have the note blocks, which by the way, I completely forgot that note blocks are actually extremely cheap to make, right? So you only need eight bits of wood and then one bit of redstone, which is really cheap, right? I don't know why I thought it would cost um, eight bits of wood and a diamond. But I think that's to make the jukebox and uh, not the note block. So maybe that's where my confusion came from. Um, but yeah, I think they look really good, especially as like um, crates. I have been uh, looking for a lot of crate designs as of late, haven't I? Then we'll place these here. And there you go. Oh, wait, we need one more thing. The actual chair for the person to sit on. And there we go. Easy as that. Super, super simple. And it looks absolutely fabulous. I'm really quite happy with it. And yeah, we can uh, dot these basically all around our city, not just over here. However, there is a new place I want to show you guys uh, where I have been working on a little bit of a new area. Um, that still has to do with ships though, so why don't we make our way over there? Okie dokie, so as I make our way to this area, let's take a look. There we go. So, as you can see, I have been trying to come up with new ship designs, right? But I'm trying to come up with smaller ones. So I'm kind of thinking of like a, I don't know, shipping vessel, right? Like a small one. And so far I have come up with, well, three but really this design is quite bad so i've come up with basically this one which i think is the one i'm leaning to um compared to this one over here which although might look nice i don't know if it will really fit what we're doing because this ship really just looks like a normal ship that's been miniaturized right but this isn't really what i've been trying to go for i've really been trying to go for a different type of ship right the smaller one and that is because this area over here at its maximum is four 
blocks deep, right? And most of the ships that we have built, nay, all the ships we have built, only have a water displacement of three blocks, right? So we could actually have like one bigger ship out here in the middle. And then I want it to be surrounded by like smaller ships, right? Of like, I don't know, I guess poor or like small fishermen, right? That would just be docking in this new area. So yes, I'm pretty much thinking of another dock area over here, but this one, instead of being made out of stone, would be made out of wood and all of that. And maybe we could even have a few smaller houses on this side. However, I did say at the beginning of the video, we had built another building and I completely forgot to show you guys. So why don't we get there? Alrighty guys, so as I said, I lost the footage for the time lapse, but here it is, and as you can see, it's a diagonal build. Um, that's right, I thought I'd uh, give myself a bit of a challenge, and I basically came up with this, and I am very happy with it, right? I think that the smooth sandstone with the bricks does go quite nicely, right? And then we used some of the oak uh, fences, just to give it a little bit of detail, and I have to say, I am very, very happy with it. Now. You might notice that the flags on top are our flags, and then they're the Sun Isle flags, right? Which I said the those ships are coming from, right? And that is because if we go over here, this is the Sun Isle's trade office, right? So I'm thinking like this would be like a major trade um, hub, right? Uh, do ignore the uh, path that we haven't built yet. But yeah, so we have like the ships from the Sun Isles like making dock a lot over here. So they have set up their own little office. Now, if we go inside, it's quite bare, right? We do have their logo on the floor and we have a very nice map on the roof of the area, right? But it is quite empty and that is because I am not 100% sure what I actually want to put in here. It's really just a beautiful building with a nice facade with uh, absolutely nothing to show for the interior. So if you have any ideas, do let me know down in the comments. But yeah, I'm, I'm quite happy with the build. And it took a bit of uh, imagination to get such a diagonal build correctly. So you can see the diagonals are not all the same, right? So we have like these beautiful diagonals. Then over here, we have these like bigger diagonals going on. And that was to give it a little bit of differentiation because if it all looks the same, it ends up looking kind of blonde and uh, boring, right? But this is very eye-popping and yeah, I'm very happy with it. You might also notice that the roof is different to the decorative parts that we have over here. And you know, that is again to make sure that there's some differentiation and that the whole build doesn't bore the person watching it, right? Because it can be a bit of a strain on the eyes since it is um, a very repetitive pattern, right? So just this one facade has essentially six of the same repeating patterns and then three of the same repeating pattern. So we have to make sure that um, you don't get bored while you're looking at it, right? And yeah, it's really starting to um, make the place look more complete, right? So we have this smaller alley over here and it does look much better now does it has this other building on the other side. Next, we would probably have to put a build over here and finish two buildings or one other building over here for this whole part encircled area to be completely finished. Unfortunately though, that is just about all the time I've got for today. If you liked the video, then well, Make sure to give it a like and if you really loved it then make sure to subscribe as we have so many plans for this area and I'm very, really quite excited for them all. If you like my work and you want to support me then the link to my Patreon will be in the description as will the Discord link. Yeah, if you guys want to join that then you guys should totally do so. I'm active there and we have a community. So yeah, if you ever want to pop by and say hi, then the link for the Discord will be in the description too. But until next time, thank you all very much for watching and keep on building.